forests of southern Laos, boys, and especially girls, have to grow up fast. In some communities, it is still typical for children to marry at age 14 or 15 or even younger and to start having children of their own. Attending school to learn skills that might open up more life opportunities is rarely an option. The Lao government has made substantial progress in improving women's health in remote areas. Facilities have been built and health care providers have been deployed. However, the adolescent birth rate is still high. Each year, nearly one out of ten girls between 15 and 19 gives birth, according to the latest social indicators survey. Few children attend school for more than a year or two. The school for higher grades is in another village. Many parents don't see the value of sending them there when they could be helping with the housework. And these parents don't stop their young daughters from marrying and leaving home. Achu dropped out of third grade to marry a classmate. Her husband dropped out too. Achu got pregnant right away and again soon after the first child was born. The young parents want to wait two years before having a third baby, but they don't know about family planning and are not using a modern contraceptive method. Life is increasingly hard for the young couple. They want to build their own house, but no longer make as much income from collecting firewood as they used to. <laughs> Convincing communities that education brings economic benefits is critical to increasing school enrollment. And to promote education in ethnic communities, linguistic and cultural barriers need to be overcome, along with geographic challenges. Hun Chai, age 16, is fortunate to have a school to attend and the support of her parents. Enabling more girls to stay in school is key to reducing adolescent pregnancy, says a new global report by UNFPA, the United Nations Population Fund. How can we, as a global community, accept that a child of 14 should be a mother. It's a violation of our fundamental human rights and we must not allow that to happen. In Laos as elsewhere, protecting girls' rights and health and ensuring they have opportunities will benefit families, communities and the nation.